To offer products on the market, different companies have to work together. They form the supply chain. To make this supply chain more efficient, the EPC Global Network and RFID are useful tools. The process starts with a purchase order issued from the distribution center to the manufacturer. The purchase order is sent by EDI. The manufacturer receives the purchase order and processes it. A picking list is issued and the warehouse operator is requested to pick two pallets. The forklift carries an RFID reader. With the help of RFID, the operator can identify the right slot from which to pick the first pallet. With RFID, storage slots are easily and unmistakably recognized. This is also the way to identify pallets and to make sure the right pallet is picked. The operator signals to the IT system that the first pallet has been picked. The IT system has precise and accurate information on the inventory. When being loaded on the truck, the pallets go through a portal reader. This reading session provides data to the IT system that the pallets are leaving the manufacturer. In the process, the middleware plays a key role. The middleware collects and filters data that have been read with RFID. It inputs data to the Warehouse Management System, WMS, and the EPCIS, EPC Information Services. Upon receipt, the truck is unloaded and the pallets and cases are read. With RFID, multiple simultaneous reads are possible and it's not required to unwrap the pallets to read information about the cases. Identification of the pallets and the cases is completed in a shorter time, with less manpower and with greater efficiency. With the information collected from the reads, the EPCIS of the distribution center is updated. The EPCIS only contains the EPCs of the pallets and the cases. To receive more information about the trade items, the distribution center queries the manufacturer's system using the ONS, Object Naming Service.